It's time to sit back and crunch some numbers using data from our friends at chaviation.com. Today, we'll take a look at the world's active aircraft to find out which have had the busiest service lives. We'll do this in terms of both flight hours and flight cycles. Before we go any further, a crazy 79% of you have not yet subscribed. Please, do us a favor and subscribe now. It really means a lot. So let's start by examining the rankings as far as flight hours are concerned. Data shows that the busiest active aircraft by this metric is a Boeing 767-300 freighter belonging to Canadian cargo operator CargoJet Airways. This 33-year-old jet, registered Charlie Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Echo, had racked up the staggering 140,249 flight hours as of April 2021. It previously flew for Canadian Airlines and Air Canada. The next three aircraft on the list are also 767s. However, in this instance, they're all examples of the passenger carrying 767-300ER version. Flying for German leisure carrier Condor, the busiest of these 28-year-old veterans, registered Delta Alpha Bravo Uniform Charlie, had amassed 138,671 hours as of April 2021. Meanwhile, Delta Alpha Bravo Uniform Alpha had 137,969 hours and Delta Alpha Bravo Uniform Bravo had 136,325. Rounding out the top five in this metric is a Boeing 747-400 freighter owned by a Korean carrier Asiana. Registered as Hotel Lima 7413, this 30-year-old jumbo had amassed 135,528 hours as of April 2021. It's interesting that all of the top five are Boeing aircraft. A common theme among the aircraft with the most flight hours is that they are all long-haul designs. As such, the hours that they've racked up are spread across fewer cycles. Therefore, it's also worth examining the aircraft that have completed the largest number of these cycles even if they haven't amassed the same number of hours in doing so. At the time of this video, data shows that the active aircraft with the most completed flight cycles is Lima November Whiskey India Bravo. This de Havilland-8100 turboprop belongs to Norwegian regional carrier Widero and had completed a staggering 109,976 flight cycles in its 28 years of service as of March 2021. This works out at an average of 3,930 a year, or 10 per day. 12 active aircraft have surpassed the 100,000 cycle mark, and all are Widero-8100s. Dash This is indicative of the milk run style flights with multiple short sectors that the carrier deploys them on. Indeed, their average cycle length is generally around half an hour. Moving away from Widerow's busy Dash 8100s, let's wrap up by taking a look at some of the world's other most active aircraft when it comes to flight cycles. Canadian regional airline Jazz Air has seven Dash 8300s, aged 30 years or older, which sit near the top of the rankings, ranging between 79,928 cycles, in the case of Charlie Golf Echo Whiskey Quebec, and 84,696 cycles for Charlie Golf Kilo Tango Alpha. Two interesting anomalies to end on are Juliet Alpha 801 Bravo and Juliet Alpha 802 Bravo, a pair of Dash 8 Q300s from Japanese carrier Oriental Airbridge. These aircraft have amassed an impressive 79,549 and 77,589 flight cycles respectively, but are comparatively young at 20 years old. It'll be interesting to see whether they too will hit the 100,000 mark later on. It's truly impressive just how much flying all of the aforementioned aircraft have done over their lifespans. Have you ever flown on any of these well-used aircraft? Would you be worried to fly on an aircraft with a high number of flight hours or cycles? Let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.